Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Murder Mystery. This quest is considered novice difficulty and is short, about 10 minutes long. There are no requirements for this quest. The required items for this quest include one pot. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you bring two Camelot teleports using either Camelot teleport tabs or the 45 magic, 10 air runes, and two law runes. What is unique about this quest compared to all the other ones in RuneScape is that the outcome is different for everyone, so some of the detective work must be done on your own, but is still really easy. Murder Mystery starts at the Sinclair Mansion. Teleport to Camelot and follow the map provided to the mansion, which is located north of the Sears Village in Camelot. Once there, talk to the guard to start the quest. He'll tell you that Old Man Sinclair was found dead in the mansion, and it is up to you to find out who the murderer is. Enter the house and head east to where the murder scene occurred, which is fairly easy to recognize with a large blood stain on the floor. Take the pugnant pot in the northeast corner of the room, as well as the criminal's dagger on the floor. Search the smashed window nearby to find the criminal's thread. Next, go around into the various bedrooms to collect multiple suspects' belongings, which are located in the barrels. There are two barrels on the ground floor and four upstairs. Search each barrel for Anna's silver necklace, Bob's silver cup, Carol's silver bottle, David's silver book, Elizabeth's silver needle, and Frank's silver pot. Now head outside to the east side of the mansion and investigate the sturdy wooden gate. This will give you information about the guard dog's behavior during the murder. Next, go to the far northwest room of the mansion, which is only accessible from the outside. Left click on the sacks to collect flypaper. Repeat taking the flypaper until you have seven of them. Go back inside the mansion to the kitchen, which is located in the northwest corner, and fill your pot with flour. Use the filled pot with a criminal's dagger to dust it, and then use the dagger with the flypaper to get a fingerprint. Follow the same steps for each of the silver items you have. Once complete, use the first flypaper that contains a criminal's fingerprint with each of the other flypapers to find a match. If you get the message they don't seem to be the same, drop that fingerprint and continue on until you get the message the fingerprints are an exact match to the criminals. At this point, you can drop all the items that don't correspond to your criminal. For example, my criminal's fingerprints matched Frank, so keep Frank's fingerprint, the original criminal's fingerprints, and his silver pot and drop all the other silver and flypaper items. However, keep the silver necklace as this is a unique cosmetic item that cannot be obtained after the quest. Go to the entrance of the mansion and talk to Gossip and ask, who do you think was responsible? Once you're through the conversation, teleport to Camelot and use a map provided to talk to the poison salesman who is located in the Sears Village Bar. Ask him about the murder mystery quest and who did you sell the poison to at the house. Head back to the mansion and talk to your suspect. Ask them, why did you buy poison the other day? The suspect will tell you what they used the poison on. The item that the suspect mentioned is somewhere on the mansion grounds. Find it and search for it to make sure he is telling the truth. Go to the entrance of the mansion near the guard. Drop your necklace here. If you don't, the guard will take it as evidence. Talk to the guard and show him the fingerprints. Talk about poison and show him your thread. Once you're done talking to him, pick your necklace back up. Congratulations, you have received 3 quest points, 2,000 coins, 1,406 crafting experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.